Okay, next scenario. A blade in the back. Gelu must defeat all the earful armies in this region and cut off any escape routes. Without him, the, this quest shall fail. Uh, and level cap for him is 24. Expert difficulty. Choose bonuses in the sack of gold. Crap and crap. So we'll take the endless sack of gold. In my operations, information is always scarce and never given full trust. Now I am told the elemental confluxes we have encountered have allied with Queen Catherine in her war to destroy King Lucifer Cregan. I have orders to move deep into Eofor, behind the main Cregan force Catherine holds at the border. There, I am to cut off any potential escape route. I pray this is not a trap. Medium sized map. These are probably the most fun to play. The smaller ones, too. Larger ones can be very good, but uh, they're good for scenarios. I mean, not campaign scenarios, but totally independent. Because that they're better balanced at one. In the campaigns, they're sort of. Uh, uh, um, either very easy or very tedious to grind through. Anyway, the message sent last night told you the following. Gilu, you have been doing well thus far in your guerrilla attacks, but the time has come to make our push toward Eofol capital city of Krila and end this once and for all. While my husband and I march from the south, you are to invade through AV and cut off any escape route the Cregans may have. I do not wish to be traversing but the Eofall countryside looking for this King Lucifer. We cannot allow him to use Armageddon's play. Not now, not ever. Do not fail me, my loyal Gilu. Too much is at stake. Mm. Okay. We we don't want to be upgrading this. The reason I didn't take upgraded android arches is this. It, it costs 1,500 gold. Why the fudge would I take that as a bonus? The archery item would have been gold. Yeah, this produces 1,000 gold each day. Archery item would have given a slight bonus to archery, but frankly, it, it, it won't matter. It's not that important. So, extra gold, extra sharpshooters. As far as I can tell, this entire stronghold here is just to provide us uh, with uh, access to archers. Conflux is where we have to build our proper armies. Ooh, level 18, level 18. Ciele, the Especially magic arrow specialist. Damage increased by 50%. Expert water, expert earth. Holy shit. Expert wisdom. Yeah, expert intelligence. Very, very good spellcaster. If we just give her a good set of spells, it'll be wonderful. Erdemon. Okay, combat. Earth Magma Elementals receive plus 2 to attack, plus 1 defense, plus 5 damage. Uh, static bonuses, that's odd. It is very odd. It's a strength but, uh, and a weakness at the same time. You can turn these to sharpshooters later.
10% increase in arch. Lots of We do not like you. You die now. Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. Good effort, though. Another bird. Yeah, they're really buffing our range compatibilities by the start. Need a single piece of miracle. And I'm, I'll take the altar. Oh. Yeah, we can't afford this. Um, let's go. We need to gather up some resources quite quickly first. Golden bow. That will be much more useful on a non Gilu hero. Wisa gonna eat you, Knuckles! shouts the leader. Knuckles, Knuckles! Hands the rest of the family leaders at his back, digging out from behind the leader. Brave warriors indeed. We do need to buy these guys, but we just can't afford quite that quite yet. Additional resources. A letter arrives from Queen Catherine by a Griffin Rider. The rider, in an obvious hurry, simply leaves the letter without even so much as dismounting the great winged beast. Upon ripping open the sealed message, you read in total shock and disbelief. Hello, my faithful servant. I'm sending this letter to inform you the nobility in Erathia is becoming increasingly difficult to work with on this war. They are beginning to refuse to support me with monies. What? With monies? <laughs> and supplies. Troops are even beginning to be withheld or delayed. They tell me they consider this war at its end. Little do those short sighted fools understand the gravity of the situation we face. As such, I'm recommending we utilize our newly formed found allies more as we shall need them to win this war. 
I have a plan to deal with the nobles, but the timing must be just right. Good luck, we're all counting on you. Can I get a little bit of extra? Uh, I, I do need troops. And more archery skill. Everything increasing archery skills should go the yellow. Except the uh, golden bow, because I think it removes the range penalties. But Gilo uses sharpshooters anyway, which don't have the range or barrier penalties. But Conflux Army has a lot of range units. So they would definitely benefit greatly from that. We need to upgrade the air elemental and water elemental to ice and storm respectively and we'll get on that. And these are all range combat units we can just get an upgrade on them. And our altar of air. I'll, I'd rather upgrade this one. Our biggest weakness at the moment at the moment is definitely lack of mercury. I probably should buy additional heroes. No, it's a medium map. Three good heroes is good enough. <sighs> Stemming the tide of escaping refugees when one is looking for the enemy is never an easy task, and this time is no exception. Your troops are combing the countryside seeking out those who would be fleeing their homeland in an attempt to cheat fate. You have been ordered to put pressure on the Cregans from the north, and that you shall. Towards that end, you have set up several teams of people whose job it is to watch the floods, and look for potential targets. One of these teams sent word that they had captured a rather important refugee, the Arbiter candidate named Sleem. Under orders from you, he was brought to you immediately for questioning. After several hours of questioning, Sleem finally broke and gave the following information. Zeron indeed does have the blade and is intending to use it very soon. Also, Sleem mentioned a great smith who was convinced to make the weapon. Pressing, Sleena refuses to give up the name of the smith. We figure it is un unimportant for now. The fact of the matter is, the blade is real and unleashed upon the world, and the difficult part is to locate the weapon and deal with it. Sleen, in change, will be taken to Stekrit to stand trial for his crimes. Your tra entrail shall decorate our lair. Flee now, for it's your only hope of salvation. Yep. Maybe if you weren't so completely pathetic, your threat might carry some weight. High level heroes, we do not need experience, not in that way. Golden Bow. When wielded, the Golden Bow allows your troop to shoot through any obstacle or at any range without penalty, so. Hmm. He could use it more as the expert archery. Hmm. 
she could use another spell specially. Ah, uh, anyway. As long as one of these heroes has to has that, that's, that's okay. Learn a secondary skill. Water. Resource silo. Sooner or later, we're gonna need a ton of that mercury. We could use it now already. I do need to build that treasury quite soon, too. Son of Erebus, almost here. There, Sakona pays you for attacking. Yeah, this. These guys aim sound probably like Jar Jar Bing, so it's another crime on their list. It's going to take a couple of turns before we can get anything good out of this place. In the meantime, ooh, we need that. Son of Erebus coming, watch out, they are gonna eat you. Advance no further, meet. Our flames of purification shall be your end if you defy us. Ah. Empty, empty threats. A note is delivered to you by a strange messenger, a corpse spiked to a tree. When you get close to... When you get the note, you are told of how it was delivered. This makes you win slightly, as it was truly cruel. The note reads, The murderer Gilu, this is the only warning you will receive and is to inform you I will be killing you and all that you love as you have done to me. This message is revenge for my mother, you monster. Ziran, leader of the Sons of Erebus, the bearer of the Armageddon's blade. Confused, you have to think back on those that you had slain recently. All oh, women come to mind. There was a succubus on the raid two weeks ago, but the thought of her being anyone's mother was the furthest thing from your mind as she was trying to drink your soul.
If you use a season big sons of Erebus, you're gonna be scared. We are, yeah, Jesus Christ. I wonder if this game get, uh, came out before Jar Jar Binks or after. Because if it's after, I, I have no fucking clue what the game sound is worth thinking. My PCs. Yeah, the problem with the standard units with complex is not ex that they're horrible, horribly bad. It's that they're very slow. Yeah, Yusa Kona and Yusa. Better to let them attack so we can kill all of them at the same time. Ye shiver and despair, for the sons of Erebus shall feast upon thy bloody tusks. Which is nice. Demon should be unable to do much, but let's make sure. No point taking needless casualties. Let's have enough ore. And we need yeah more merc. We can do these minor upgrades. Don't really cost us anything. We need the mercury. Hmm, didn't notice that. The Zaridon Inferno. I would say there's three cities here, three cities here, and then a group of cities in the middle. So we need to try to push in the middle area and try to gain control of some of the cities there on the second route. It is too late to get them on this week, they'll get their reinforcements already. So it's much better for us to wait for our own. This is actually a good position for us. We now have 
storm and ice elements. And we have a item that makes range not an issue. The obstacles are not an issue. So it's a very powerful combination. Everything. It'll take a day before things change. We could. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm not gonna get them. Only one of our heroes will be, uh, complex heroes will be attacking though, so we could do this. Go there. We could consolidate their forces a little bit. It will be a little bit of extra boost for us. We don't need to do that upgrade now, so we can wait. No. Okay, now we can see at least what their heroes are like. Decent army. A non-existent army. So, CLA will be the attacking one. You get the better equipment. Yep. Take the fire elementals, take the air. That's all. Can we upgrade the fire? I think we need to. We have so many fire elementals. There's a big difference between energy and the fire elementals. We should have led in with the earth ones. Uh, it'll it will not make a huge difference. We can get the altar of fire without any problem. So now starts an important week in our fight. What's missing? Or well, I think we can afford a single piece of ore. More attack, more defense, more speed, and cast protections, spells, our immunity, called vulnerability. We have a lot of range range damage potential now. Ah shit, I need more money. And I 
and to get it from many anywhere else. It's 7.50. Okay, we're ready to go. We, the lesser sons of Erebo, shall not allow you to pass. Stand fast and die, else turn your tail and flee from us. We neither ask quarter nor shall we give it. Lesser speed. Six, eight. If there's something we might want to boost, it's the ice elemental speed. Ah, oh, what a shame. Summon boat. Well, we're water magic experts, so we can actually summon a good boat. Ah, we need the red tent. We have the red tent to attack them in the first place. Or maybe not, maybe it, we need to attack them from this It might be a good idea to maintain some of these. You see ahead what appears to be a battlefield with several dozen dead on both sides of the conflict. Dead demons Iker fills the mid-morning air with a crisp smell of evil while their opponent's corpses confirm the rumors that the halflings want their land back. Sickened by the hundreds of dead halflings, you are forced to leave the scene or wretch. Your men are not so lucky, for not all of them have horses as agile as yours and must pass through the carnage more slowly. Many empty their stomachs, adding to the virtually impregnable wall of ogres assaulting, assaulting them as they march. If we maintain these red border guards, we might be able to contain the enemy heroes here. Once we breach them, they're gone. And it seems like this is the only place to get the red key master. So the enemy will not be able to remove them. I think we might be better off not breaking these actually. Yeah, it, it definitely acts as a containment system. Let's try to take advantage of that. We need more archers. We're gonna take another trip through... Well, no, we'll just go pick the archers we can get, we can get from here. Not totally fine. We'll send Gilu to attack from this side. It was a good idea to maintain those.
Touch. Let's go. Yeah, he's harmless. I want to stop him before he can do any meaningful exploration. No hero, they have no chance. We're going to lose all our sprites. That's probably the main target of their defensive towers. Sprites are good when you on the countryside, but not when you try to attack castles. But that's how it goes. Energy elementals actually fly. Spell power. A uh, meteor shell. down gate. Okay. Uh, I need a scout. Okay. Seems to be a fairly contained area. There's probably a city here and a city here. Attack here with this hero. Try to use Kilu to attack the south.
we're looking solo. <sighs> Kieran, one of your most trusted scouts, reports that yesterday his team was on a watchdog patrol of the area around New Tennis. There they watched as a group of demons tried to sneak across the border into Apple Before his team could act, the devils were cut down by a horde of smallish humanoid warriors wielding slings and short swords. While the number of these little people were not very numerous, demons never stood a chance. They did manage to slay a few, but not enough to make an account for themselves. When the demons were all dead, the little people disappeared into well-hidden tunnel entrances. Kieran and his team were stunned by the swiftness and ferocity of the attack. They eventually went down to take a look on the battlefield. The little people were in a halflings. It has been believed by many that the halflings who used to live in Eopold were all killed. Apparently, this is not true. Interesting. I'll, I'll take the game's word for it. And we cannot attack you. Ooh, you son of a bitch. Well, leadership is good ability to have. No complaints there. Yeah, the terrain here is terrible. It's very hard to move back and forth. A group of demons appears to be fleeing. Either that or they've been sent on a suicide mission. What a pathetic array of troops. They should be no no of no match to for your troops. Might be a scouting troop. Gelu Spirits Rise. Yeah, we don't want to break these. They're containing some of our enemies quite nicely. Okay, the red doesn't have control in this area. That's interesting. and the interest it generates. Okay, very nice. One down. This is a very nice little location for city. Likely isn't good enough, really. Shit. I, I can't stay here. Watch over that. Oh shit! They have a red keymaster tent here too. That's a very crucial bit of information for us. 
hasn't been here. There might not be another. I'm very likely to lose this city then. Hero versus uh, Kabila. I'm not sure we're well going to lose this. Not at all. Yeah. Here's more spell points. And he has the four demons. I think my initial instinct on where they are, where the cities are, is actually correct. It's a proper army. It is not too big of a deal. The thing is, it's much easier to defend the Inferno City, city group than this. Every one of them has the castle gate. So I'd, I'd gladly exchange them for these. I think we have the advantage here. They will bloody our nose quite a bit, but 
but then they do stupid shit like that. It's a worthy exchange. Almost fully upgraded city in exchange for a few troops here and there. <laughs> More importantly. Ah, does not have a cattle gate. Okay, the importance of this city just got highlighted. It can be used to reinforce these positions, but these cannot be used to reinforce them. I think I'll just buy another hero here who will take control of these areas. We need to leave. This is more important. I do want to maintain control of this. That won't do. That might do. This is too important to really risk. At least we'll make them fight for it. Okay, it's not too bad. I don't think he can attack there. Just too far away. Okay, a crap city with good unit production capabilities. No target. Yep, no castle gate.
I, I might be tem tempted to extend this to get a few level ups. Just so I could refill one of some of my skills at least. I don't want to be sitting around here though. Yeah, any kind of crap hero will do. Just spread your wings and go take a look. This is a very nasty area to move in. Very, very, very. Let's wish move around a bit. We're very close to be able to do the upgrade fire. I think I'm inclined to wait. Magma elementals. I haven't seen any of these good heroes. That sort of worries me. We started with three good heroes and we have seen zero of these good heroes. He has to have them. Decided to stay and fight. It's a brave choice. We spend everything there, but the increase is so good. Better attack, better health, drastic increase in speed, and rebirth. Holy crap, is rebirth good? 
Well, you can be very unlucky and not have any benefit from that. But I think it, it it's it doesn't just mean I, I might be wrong about this. It but it doesn't just mean that if the stacks get killed, they have a chance to respawn a little. I think it also means if you don't lose the fight, they all basically come back to life. I I'm definitely might be wrong about that. It's again one of those things when you play several games in a gaming series, you sort of get blurred which game has which thing. Uh, this army is not no longer good enough. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. I think we should go and reinforce our armies a little bit. Few phoenixes, few additional troops, yeah, that will do quite nicely. Yeah, we have 11 gold. It's no good. Well, we can quite easily get the gold. Dead ends after dead ends after dead ends. Not too dangerous for an army again. Yeah, the only exit is travel take a huge gigantic detour and we can defend this if we just have a any kind of real hero speciality resurrection hmm. I think so I'm mainly worried about maintaining control of the town. Didn't upgrade goddamn birds. You need birds. You got nothing without the birds. Crap. Yes, thank you. Let's give it a decent mother.
there's one danger on this mission, I guess it's getting stuck fighting in these separate mazes. We need to push in here. This army isn't bad, so... Ah, screw it. I want to stop him now, before he gains too much power. He has a much better hero. <laughs> much, 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 much better hero. Has no range capabilities behind, besides spell points though, so... That'll work for us. You have to be careful about the casting. I don't want to keep him the spell points he needs. Okay. Dangerous opponents. I think all our range users are... No. No melee penalty. Cast protection from fire, mind, and fire. No, cast protection of fire. That's no good. Uh, I want to get rid of that every Excellent. Speed seven, seven, seven. They have no chance, no chance in hell. Last luck, please. And we regain. will end here. This will last some time still. I'm not too concerned about farming benefits. These heroes seem to be do just fine. They might not be the best heroes available, but they manage the missions that are given to them and that, that's enough. So what we need to do is Basically secure this area. This seems to be the only area you can move into our territory at the moment. I think there's still three cities there are. But we have six cities, so the advantage is already ours. We just need to on the next 
fourth week, Wilsas has to make another push there. Uh, I'm a little bit wary what their big hero is. Again, we have seen zero good heroes, so we started with three. They cannot have zero good heroes in a fight like this. But yeah, we'll see. 